over here. I don't know, guys. It's tough to say, really, um, where I want stuff to be at. Oh, man. I usually, I, there's a certain way I do it. We didn't even put down Laura's house. Hey guys, my name is Gemselex and welcome back to some more Let's Play Dark Cloud and in this episode we will be rebuilding my room from scratch. So this is how I like to do it. So from starting from here I usually take Macho's house and we put him right next to Divine Beast Cave because he wants to be next to there. And so from there I kind of like work my way from Divine Beast Cave up into the mayor's house. So from there, uh, after that I place the, uh, this guy right here next to him. Because he likes to be around houses, so we want to make sure that he is around other houses so that he can get business. Now, from there, we're going to put Cloud's house here. And from Cloud's house, we're going to put, not the hags, we're going to put a let's, a let's house there. There you go, so that looks good. So we got that right there. And now, from that spot, we're going to start laying down some paths. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. So, there we go. Now, let's see here. Next up, I'm going to set down Paige's house. Uh, we're going to put Paige right, right here for now until I figure it out. Actually, hold on. Can I move her back more? Yes, right there. That's better. So we're going to move her back there. And from there, we're going to put my house next to her house because we want to make sure that we're next to our girlfriend's house. And so we put our house there. And let's see. What else do we do now? And with that, we can now place the pond in front of her house because the dad wants to be um, directly in front of it now is that good yep that's good like that cool I might have to move the houses over one so we'll do that one and there you go looks good okay and so from there we can make more paths to our house so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right cool there you go, houses. Now let's start putting down some trees. So for trees, I'll put one here, and one like outside the, out, uh, right near the exit. We'll put a tree here, we'll put a tree here, put a tree here, um, put a tree over here. Now something else I like to do is I like to take the rivers, and I like to put the rivers like right here, and make a pathway like going through. So, something like this. Now, this is the Drans Windmill. This has to be placed somewhere over here. I usually place it somewhere over here. But as you can see, we kind of have to do something about that. This is a, a decision I have to think about. Uh, I usually place Drans Windmill like right about here about about there and then from there I usually like to put oh there's an event yeah we have to go to that event and I usually put like three more of these like around it and surrounding it I know that seems weird but that's something I always did I always usually put them like right there though now that I'm thinking about it I might actually move them around and place them in certain spots instead because to me that may seem like a better idea we could put one there and we can put one here. And we can just put one in front of it. Okay, Um. so from there. Now the hag, she wants to be directly in front of the windmill. So like right in front of it. So usually what I do is I do this. I can't, I can't move this anymore back. So what I do is I take a river. No, no, river. I take the river and I build one going straight across like that but it's kind of tough for me to do that Oops. I got rid of the path it's kind of tough for me to do that we'll put the path back down um do this do that do that okay um it goes something like this it goes like this I usually go like that there we go that's not bad go like that I want to use every piece of it, like every last piece. Take that back. So that's something else I usually do. I might, I might take a few back. 
Like, I want it to go through the whole entire building. Um... Uh... I don't know. I think it would, it would look funny if this was right there. Would it? Would it? It might be better so I can actually put the rivers going through. Hmm. Um. Hmm. This is oh, this is it's always tough for me to do this because it's like it's like I know what I want, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. You know what I mean? I have to really think about it. I have to really think about how I want to go about doing this. So, there's that. And then I usually go like this. Like something like that. But I can't put another one down. That's the thing. Alright, remove it from there. And instead put two more right here. See, that's not bad. I usually, I usually like doing it like that because I think it looks cool having it like that let me see now usually I put a bridge like right here a bridge in front of here so she can go to the to the freaking thing if she wants to um I usually put two bridges right there oh it's so tough for me to decide guys because and I usually put like three down but it's really hard for me to decide um then I put a bridge there. I put like three bridges there, but then that means we're still ha we still have one more river to use, and I want to use all three of them. Yeah. Let's look at how happy everyone is. Almost done. Almost done. Uh, roads. We gotta put one back there. Uh. It's not a bad idea. What if I take one of the one of these bridges and instead put one here? That's not bad. That works. Yeah, that works. That's not bad. Hmm. Move her back a little bit. No. Is everyone's houses down? I think we placed everyone's house. We just need to place down some more trees. So we put a tree there. We could put a. Uh, um, we can put a tree here. We can put some trees over here and around. Just kind of want to like separate them from each other. And then one more tree could go good from uh, right about here, maybe or there. Not bad. It, it looks it looks good. Um, I have one wind windmill left left, and I'm gonna place that. over here I don't know guys it's tough to say really um, where I want stuff to be at oh man I usually there's a certain way I do it we didn't even put down Laura's house Laura does not want to be near what's his face near what's his face um near the mayor's house so we gotta make sure we keep her away I actually I might place Laura over near us how's that um I don't know. It actually looks more like a village now that we have everyone's house. Look at this. Looks all oh, so nice. Look at that. Aw. How nice does that look now that everyone has, you know, their own houses and stuff? Actually, didn't she say she didn't want to be near the village? The mayor? No. No, she's not going to be happy if she's near him. That's right. She wants to be as far away from him as possible. Yes, that's... Yep, okay, yeah. We have to keep her over there then. It's the only place I can think to put her at, so... We'll move the tree back, like, right there. Okay. Now, we have an event at the windmill, so we're going to go over there right now. I'm just trying my best to rebuild this now. As you're going to see here, the windmill should start moving. And when you go inside... Here we go. So we're inside now. Magic power 2. Horn key. Which we really need that. We need the horn key. That will allow us to get to the last level of Divine Beast Cape. Fire. Fruit of Eden. Bunch of good stuff you do not want to miss out on. If you climb all the way up. You'll see some chests there. Wind. And at the very tippity top, I think it's holy. Yep. Called it. Okay. Now, that's pretty much it. So we got the windmill up and running. 
a um, bunch of good stuff that you can find inside here. I recommend that you look around and make sure you don't miss anything. But with that, I would say we we uh, we got everything. So let's go ahead and leave. Now outside of the windmill, there's some more stuff right here, right there, fish candy. Good. Uh, can we get something for towing? Fluffy donut. That's what it is. The fluffy donut is what increases his defense. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, we go down. So we have food of Eden, which we'll give to her, and we have the key to get to the final floor. Awesome. We're gonna give him the fluffy donut and give her the candy. She actually has more defense than me. That's kind of sad. I should have more, but that's because I haven't been getting any. So now. The next thing I want to show you guys is that off screen I leveled up the Gladius to the point that it's ready to become the next weapon. Now I use my Opal to increase Opal, the st that gem that increases steel. Increase steel by 10 so as you can see steel is now 10 so I can now upgrade the weapon to its next ability. So with that let's go ahead and build up the Gladius to the chopper. So let's do that right now. And we now have the chopper, our new sword. It looks like a like something you would see, like in a pirate movie or something. Now, from the chopper, we need to work on the next level. I'm not sure which one it is yet. I'll have to look into that. But there you go. We got a new weapon. Now we have some stuff here. Gore, Ooh, gore. That's good. We'll give that to Tolan, I think. But yeah, so I'm still working on the village itself, trying to. Uh, make it how everyone wants it to be i think i made everyone happy though that should be it no i'm still missing someone who am i missing do i need to move a let's house over more claude okay good claude um yeah so he wants to be in front of her house uh Let's see here. Hmm. Everyone's request is not being met, but I think that's pretty much it. I gotta ask my mom if she's happy. I think I put my house in the right direction. Right? Yeah, she's happy with the way her house is set up. Okay. Tasty water, a bunch of stuff that's spawning inside the houses that I haven't been grabbing. Okay, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, at this point, the only thing I can think of is fighting, is going on to the last floor and, and fighting the boss. But yeah, I think everyone should be happy. The only thing is I still haven't used this last piece of path that I wanted to use. I mean, we could place it down right here. See, though, I don't want to look back on my older saves or the last, the last time I played this game to see how it looked because like I want to do it my way, a new way this time. We can put it there. That looks, doesn't look terrible. And instead we can like do this. We can like do boop, boop, boop. Oh no, it's still. Ah, shoot. I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> we could do this, Justin. We can um, do that. That's not bad. Just put a hole in the back of our house. Um, well, you can just put do it like that. I mean, it's not that bad. It looks all right. It's really all about making the like making the town, making the village look like a village, and it looks fine to me. I just have to make sure that I utilize everything. Um, um we can put a windmill right there. So let's go ahead and see how it looks. Oh, okay, it's it's becoming night. Anyways, I'm going to end the episode off here soon, guys, because I need to do some other stuff. But we will be fighting the boss soon, as you can see. It looks nice. Like, it looks like an actual village, like, walking around, you know. It looks, it looks great, I have to say. I love it. So, yes, guys, off screen, I'm going to go ahead and find out what, what I need to do next for the, uh, the chopper. I'm going to look at my phone. It's on my phone. It's on my phone. Okay, so once again, it's going to be the second option. So we need attack, magic, a bunch of stuff. Ice, wind, holy. It's going to be the second option. Um, let's see. Pearl is endurance. That's thunder. Give you... Oh, we don't need thunder. Attack, magic. Um, attack, magic, 
We can set this down. Did it say we need a fire? No, we need ice, wind, and holy. But we need magic as well. Sapphire gives magic. And we do need wind, right? Yes, we do need wind and magic, so the sapphire works. We don't need anything for that. So we just need ice, wind, holy, attack, and MP. So yeah. That'll do. Cool. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So next time, let's play Dark Cloud. I will go to the final floor of the Vine Beast Cave and fight the boss. But I still haven't got a weapon yet for Casey. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that's going to go down. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to become a gem. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Inside. Oh, I see him. He's, he's hiding. I see him. Somebody's behind you looking at you over here. <laughs> he had the sword, he didn't even stand a chance. <laughs>